I'm Rick. Let's go get that. Uh, uh. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Um. Hey, can you imagine if someone was at my door right now? Just delivering a package or something? How awkward would that be? Oh. Oh, hello there. Hi. Uh, this? Oh, well, um... A funny story. I'm, I'm actually filming a skit, you see? I'm filming a skit. I'm filming a skit! This is supposed to be for a professional job interview. What the hell is wrong with you? Now look here, darling. This is how you can sway your way into any job for your job interview. If you so prefer, you can actually have maybe a striped uh, regular button-down shirt and undo the first two buttons, you know, just to be a slight bit provocative. The pants here, they have to be a tad more tighter, okay? Just to show off some leg. Job interviewers like to see a good old-fashioned little bit of skin. Not skin, though, perhaps. Just a little bit more leg, you know? If you were to wear a skirt, make sure your skirt is a little bit above the knee, but not too much. We don't want to give the uh, appearance that, you know, you do anything uh, late at night for some side cash. That was a good shower, fellas. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get it, man. Now the shirt should fit around you not too tight, but snug. Sort of like the glove for your Now we have a selection of ties here. We have sort of medium skinny very skinny and medium, like fat almost, but not too fat, it's just medium length. First, you should already know how to tie a tie. If you don't, there are plenty of other YouTube videos out there. Go look it up, practice makes perfect, right? So, just the basics, you want to give a little leeway uh, for this end, then this end, okay? We're just going to make a simple knot, and this goes under here like that, and then this goes under and up here like that and then this goes in that loop that you made down here like that all right you tighten that up you pull your collar down you can decide the button the first button if you want to it matters not and there you have it it's a regular skinny tie the rule for the skinny tie is that you'd have this piece not longer than your belt buckle <laughs> If you have it longer than your belt buckle, well, it's too long. You want to get it so it sits right above, right above your belt buckle. And there you have it. That's the regular skinny tie. If you want to alter the knot, the dimple over here, you can now uh, fold it in and then pull it down and alter the top up here to get the dimple you desire. This is called a dimple right over here. That's the dimple. So we're going to use a Windsor, full Windsor knot with this one. So it's going to be a hardier knot. Uh, and it's going to be bigger. And statistics show that for the interviewer, a bigger knot represents a sense of boldness and aggressiveness. So here we go. We have this end, which is going to be significantly longer than this end for the medium length tie. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross, just like we did for the last one. We're going to go up and over. And we're going to take that end, go underneath, and then cup, come up and under to loop that one. And then we're gonna cross it over the front and then underneath and up a final time. And just like the last one, we come up through the center here and come straight down the middle. Just like that. And that is a full Windsor, right there. You can make the dimple by folding the tie in the center or wherever you like it and pulling the front down. 
and so you make it tighter just like that. And it should rest, like I said, right above your belt buckle. If you mess up, you can just undo it and change the length. Don't worry about that, all right? Like the statistics show, show some boldness and aggressiveness. You want that job, and you won't settle for less. Well, now for here. What kind of product should I use? What style am I looking for? Come on, it's like you're attending a party. You want to look suave and cool, but at the same time not pump, pompous. I like to use this pomade. And this pomade is uh, thick stuff here. I'll show you, it's, it's, it's almost like gel, but um, it's thicker. So use this for the front of your hair. But uh, if you want to go for some cream, which just adds about oil and uh, just a little more uh, thick, thick mousse in there, I like to go with Brill Cream. And do yourself a favor and invest in a comb. So all you gotta do is you take some of that stuff and you rub it in your hands together like this and you just brush your hair all throughout here until it gets nice and even in there. You don't need too much and you use your comb to finish that baby off, okay? Make sure you got the nice appropriate style and then you're all set. Wait, right, we're missing something, right? Oh yeah, the suit. The suit makes the man. So, the suit should fit just right, snug, but almost a little tight. Not too tight, but it should fit your chest perfect, okay? Now, when you button this first button here, you go across like this, you should see it contour, almost like a V shape. That's how you know your suit is just right. You're not going around doing pull-ups in your suit, okay? The suit is just to fit you nicely for the business meeting that you're going to attend, the job interview that you're going to go to. That's what the suit is for, okay? You want a pocket square too. Get your pocket square to be, uh, you can get a handkerchief. If, you're, if you don't have a handkerchief or you don't want to buy one, just get a napkin. Find a nice napkin. Fold it up, put it right over here in your cuff. It gives a little uh, debonair flair to the white contrast. You see how it plays off each other? Don't forget, there are two things you need to remember when you go to a meeting. When you stand up, you always have the first button buttoned, okay? When you sit down, you always undo the top button when you sit down, all right? When you stand up, button it again. You never walk around with your suit just open, freely going, Whoo, baby, I'm ready for the money maker portion of this show. No, 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 goodness me. Now if you look up to the side there, you'll see the sleeve comes around this length. That's how you want it to be, folks, just so you can see the contrast of your shirt sleeve with the suit jacket. This one, for instance, I left a little bit larger just to show you the difference, and this is how it looks at my side here. It comes out a little bit more, and it looks a little bit thicker, right? Now that's okay, whichever way you want it. Just never have the suit sleeve come longer than your knuckle. All right, you're gonna want the suit sleeve to be at wrist length, all right, so you can see your watch as well. And the suit length should come up to where your hand. If you have it a little up higher, it's no big deal, all right? You just want the pants to be at ankle length. You just want it to be resting right at the bottom there. You can show off some sock. If you want a little bit longer, it's okay too. If it's too long, then it looks baggy, like you're a hobo, almost like a straight jacket for the business world you're about to enter that's gonna grab and choke you by the throat until you work, 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 and there's nothing left of your soul but a corporate entity monkey. And there you have it, folks. But yeah, I hope you land that job. If you don't, screw them, right? Ugh, the hell with them. You'll get another one. Don't you worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks like it's time for me to head out of here. Um, I'm home. I'm... Yeah, good luck with all your ventures and I'll see you around here soon.